Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install the tools you'll need for running R for this video tutorial series, assuming you're following along with the R portion of the series. So you're going to need uh, two different things. Uh, the first is R itself, and the second is a tool called R Studio. So to download R, go to r-project.org. And over on the left here, you're going to see a link to something called CRAN under download. If you click it, you see this big list of different links at different locations. So these are identical copies of R and all of the R packages that are hosted uh, at different universities across the world so that everyone has quick access. But if you click this zero cloud link, you're going to get redirected to one that's near you. So here's the download page. What you want is this top part with the download and install R to get the pre-compiled binaries. Um, you don't want the source code. I always find it funny that they say, if you don't know what it means, you don't want to do it. Uh, by the end of this video series, you will know what it means and you still will not want to do it. Uh, so I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go up here and click on download R for Windows. And what I want is the base and then this big download link. So I'm getting 3.5, it's June 2018. By the time you watch this, there might be a new version. Just get the, the newest version. And so I get uh, an option to save this, probably to your downloads folder. Uh, so um, save it, and then uh, run that .exe file either by opening your downloads and double clicking on it or by clicking on it from your browser once it's downloaded. I'm not going to run it here because I already have R installed. But you will want to actually run that .exe file and then mo most of the defaults should be just fine or all of the defaults will probably be just fine for you. Um, okay, and so the second tool that you're going to need is RStudio. So we're going to go to rstudio.com and you'll notice that this is a bit of a more uh, commercial site. Uh, so we're going to go to download rstudio. So they have some, you know, uh, very expensive versions. The free version is going to do everything that we need. So let's get the free version. And it will remind you, you need to have uh, R downloaded first, which we just did. And so I'm going to click the one appropriate for my operating system. And again, it gives me a, a .exe file for Windows that I can uh, download. So you'll save that. And once it's downloaded and saved, you'll also run that .exe file to um, run RStudio. So I'm, I'm going to cancel only because I only I already have this installed on my computer. OK. So if you've done that, now you should be able to launch our studio. And it should look something like this. Actually, probably what it looks like when you first open it is like this. Um, you won't have anything down here either, actually, in your lower right. So on your left, you'll have something called the console. And it's going to have your R version, which should match the current R version that you just downloaded. And so I can go in the upper left, there's this plus sign with a white square. And if I make a new R script, you should see uh, the script editor window open up here. So in the script editor window in the upper left, I'll type a command. So I want to do one plus one. Um, and then there's this button called Run. It's in the upper right part of the script corner. So if I click that, it sends that line of code down into my console, and the console prints out the answer. So if that's all working for you, uh, um, you're pretty much all set to go. If you're on uh, on uh, Mac or Linux, you're all done. If you're on Windows, I'm going to show you one more thing. This will allow you to run R from the command line, and really it's only necessary for the video on how to reuse code that you find online. So if you're not interested in that video, you can skip the rest of this one.
So one more thing I want to do on Windows is change the environmental variables. So I'm going to start uh, typing in environment and then you'll get edit the system environmental variables. Okay, so you'll get the system properties environment variables. I click that and then this one in system variables, it's called path, and that's what we want to edit. So I click edit there, and okay, yeah, so right here, I've already got it because I've already done this stuff, but what you want is something that is going to point to where the R program itself actually is on your computer. Um, so in my case, I have it on my D drive in a programs file. And then this slash bin slash x64 is what you want. Unless for some reason you're not on a 64-bit computer, then you'll just want um, the slash bin without the slash x64. Um, so if I needed to change that, I'd click edit to edit it. Or if you don't have anything in here that's pointing to R, then you would make a new one, but I'm not going to make a new one. Can I escape? Yeah, I just hit escape to, to get out of that and not make a new um, a new uh, path there. Uh, if you're not totally sure where R just installed, you can browse around. Um, so like you can look through. It's probably in something called program files, and then you can look through here to try to find it. Again, this is on my C drive. I have a different one on my D drive. All right, and then, okay, bin x64. So basically you're making a path that is gonna to point to this whole thing. And then you're gonna edit, enter that path in here. Okay. Why did I just do that? So I want you to be also be able to run R from the command line. So if I open my command prompt in Windows, you'll get something that looks like this. And if I just type capital R and then hit enter, uh, it should launch R and it should look exactly like the R console in your R studio. I can type in one plus one, it tells me two. Great. Um, if you want to quit, just have a lowercase q and then open and close parentheses. Say no to save workspace image. Right. So that is going to make it so you can, can run R from the command line too. Uh, so if you didn't enter um, your uh, path correctly, so I'm just going to type some other thing. Um, it'll show you something like this. It would say R is not a recognized as a command. Um, so if that happens, you need to close the command prompt, fix the path variable, and then open the command prompt up again and try it. Um, now, if that's kind of a pain in the butt and getting you stuck and you want to get started, then put that on the back burner for now. Again, you aren't going to need it for the vast majority of what we're doing. All right, so um, that's it for now. You're ready to get started.